Well, hello. I wanted to share a simple and relatively um, good beginning Arduino project that you can go ahead and try. And I'm going to walk through some of the details and I'll show you it in action towards the end. And so this is going to be using a digital um, input button and also having an LED monitor that we can see some basic functionality of what can be done with an Arduino. So this is what an Arduino Uno board looks like if you haven't already seen one. And it's so relatively straightforward. You have inputs and outputs that you can hook up to electronics. You have a USB connector. You can actually connect with a battery if you want to do that rather than having the power coming from your USB um, when you're connected to your computer. For what I'm gonna actually be showing in my example, it, it, with the, the circuit that I built, I'm actually going to be using a slightly different Arduino. It's called an Arduino Nano. It has the same pins for an Arduino Uno, but it's actually smaller. And you can see if you just um, page back and forth, you can see that there's more real estate here. This is a little bit more compact. It also needs a driver if you're going to use it on either a Mac or a PC. With Windows 11, this is where I got the driver to make it work. Otherwise, the, the Arduino Uno will work on both Windows 11 as well as a Mac OS, so, so keep that in mind. So a little bit smaller device, but the same functionality. This is what a circuit schematic looks like, and I'll show you the, the reference for this in a minute after I do the, the demo. So these are some screen captures from this. It was from a CD for the first Arduino kit that I got several years ago. And so this is the Arduino and it's showing the Arduino Uno. It also labels the, the um, wires that we're connecting. And this is where, even though the, the wires are would be located in different places, we can still see that there's a one for one mapping that we can get from one to the other. So D2 needs to be hooked up to this LED, a light emitting diode. And I know some of these labels are upside down. So this is what a, an LED symbol looks like, a triangle with a line and these two arrows coming out. And so from D2, this is a digital input. It's either going to be zero volts or five volts. And so when it's five volts, we're gonna actually be able to have this work that it would actually light up this um, light bulb. So there's two things we're going to have. And so first of all, this is the control. And so we have a, this is a symbol for resistor. So it's 220 ohms. And then we have the switch. And so we're going to actually, when we activate this, it's going to actually, um, this is the, the signal that we actually are going to turn, change the state of this LED either on or off. And it's also gonna provide the ground to close the, the circuit. So it's doing a, a couple of things. It's always providing the ground to the circuit on this side. But when we close this is also signals that we're going to be changing the state. And so some, some elegance and some shorthands, if you will, maybe you might wanna think about that circuit a little bit more. So with an Arduino Uno, this is what it would look like. And so except for the fact that I'm using an Arduino Nano, it's going to be the same. And so this white thing here, this is a, um, a wiring board where you can be sticking in wires and by sticking them in these holes, there are some interesting ways in how there's connectivity. So all of these green dots here, this indicates that all of these are connected together. So if I put a wire here, which G and D stands for ground, all of these would have that same ground. So that's where these two black wires also will have ground. And so this is a switch. This is a resistor. This is the LED. So this is the part of the circuit that is for the switch. And so we hook that to D10. We can see the squiggly line and 10. And the other one is we hook to ground going to this resistor. So this is 220 ohms, so red, red, brown. And then this goes to an LED, which allows current to flow in one direction and not the other. And then the this goes to two, and this is actually D2. So those are some 
insights into the, the circuit and how it works. And then in terms of the script, I've added a little bit more information as I was trying to play with a few things. And so um, you can either, you, first of all, you have two pins, the LED pin and the push button pin. So those are the, the things that we have um, defined there. So pin two is the LED pin. And then pin 10 is the push button pin. And you can set the initial state to one or zero. I've tried it and it works for both ways. And so those are the initializations. And then we actually do the, the setup. And so we um, go ahead and for the PID mode, we have the LED pin as an output and the pin mode um, button A pin, things that we've defined here. This is an input pull up. Then we get into the actual loop. We have a little bit of a delay that we have to help us if, um, if when you push a button, sometimes it can ring a little bit. And so we delay just a little bit after we push that button before we do that read. And so we do a digital re read on the push button. And if it is comes out that it's low, then we're going to actually um, write the state and then after we've written the state, we invert the state. Um, so if it was one, it's zero. If it's zero is one is what is going to happen um, as a result of that. And then we have another delay. So that's just roughly going through the, the, the code there. I also tried a couple other things. If I put this um, high rather than low, it just starts to turn on and off, on and off. Also, if I try to um, put a, something on the serial out, it also gives a, a strange characteristic that just turns the LED on and off and you can no longer use this button. So those are just a couple things for information that I tried in terms of diagnostics. This is what the circuit looks like. And so this is the Arduino Nano. This is the push button, that's the LED, it's on when I took this picture. And this is the resistor that I have. All of this is laid out and um, using the, the same colored wires as I showed you in the picture. This is the USB connector that goes to my Microsoft Surface X. And so that's what I wanted to show for the diagram here, some, some charts. Let me go ahead now and stop sharing my sc um, screen, but then go ahead and just turn on the circuit and so this will be a live demo. What I was finding is that this push button, sometimes it, it comes out fairly easily out of the circuit. So um, I had to play with this a couple of times. So it should be working now, but if it doesn't work a little bit, it means that it's come loose. So it's still a little bit sensitive and you can see it fell out. So let me see if I can quickly get this to be back in and show you a, a live demo. So apologize for this, but maybe it's, just as well that you're seeing in case if you have problems. So if I got that connected right. So, if I have problems with this, I'll show you one other thing. Let me try this now. Okay, one thing about this, um, you'll see about this switch is it, it has legs on the side in one orientation. Um, you have to make sure you get it in, in the proper orientation for it to, to work the way you'd like. And so I'm just trying to make sure I get it like that. Okay. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. So that's just a quick demo and also maybe some perspective that sometimes things don't always go the way you would like. And let me go ahead and share my screen one last time. And um, I'll turn off this video for, for now. And let me go back to the, the document that where I got this from. And so this is a, a digital inputs button. This is a PDF that shows you all of these details. Um, you, this gives you a blow up of the, the push button. You can see it has legs that have a little bit of a bend. And so this is the one that you want to have 
going closest to the the wires the way they have here. And so maybe that's a little bit of um, something that you might want to try. What I may try to do is actually straighten out these on the bottom. Maybe that'll make them go in a little bit further into the holes and it will, won't be so sensitive. This is a schematic that I showed you. This is a wiring di diagram that I showed you. And so anyway, so that's a quick little synopsis. Just wanted to give you a perspective on how to do a fairly straightforward project using an Arduino. All right, well, thank you very much.